Hello everybody, today I'm here as you can see with something a little bit different that I've never done before. So I've got a wheel of TBR which is not an original idea, it is Cody from Cody's Book Corner's idea. I stole it entirely from her. I've got the wheel from Amazon so I didn't make it myself but I also do have a prompts that I, a stack of prompts that I've done myself. Um, some of them again I think I kind of stole from Cody's channel but some of them I think are my own or it could be somebody else's, I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, so I don't know how often I'm going to be doing this on occasion or every month but essentially the idea is to have this wheel of TBR have different prompts which I'm going to put on here very soon. This TBR wheel is going to be helping me what to choose to read within a month. I'm going to be doing three or four different spins. I'm not going to be doing a lot because I do still enjoy having my mood reads on occasion so then that will give me some room to choose the books for myself as well and just go with the mood hopefully. But if it lands on the same prompt I will be swapping them every time it lands on it but if it lands on the same colour the same like from that has already been, then I'll have to add an extra spin just to make it spicier, I guess. But yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I think I don't need to explain any more myself anymore, so we're just gonna have to go with it how it goes. So let's just pick a prompt for everything on the wheel. If you're wondering what that is, that's just blue tag, or rather white tag. But anyway, so I've got a stack of my um prompts, I'm just gonna give them a good shuffle and then just choose them at random what's going to go on the wheel. I'm also allowed to include um, current reads as long as I'm not halfway through. If I'm halfway through, I'm not allowed to put it on the TBR. If I'm under halfway through, I am allowed to put it on, okay? So let's pick one from here. And that is somebody's favorite book. So let's put it here. Next one is this one which is oh <laughs> my pick and then we've got tbr box or tbr jar as a lot of people would call it then we've got this one no one talks about a mystery perfect let's get one from the bottom multiple points of view pick up this one which is afraid to read for one reason it could be because it's a big size or other reasons. Got middle grade, TBR vet, that's one of Cody's prompts as well. Then we've got World War II fiction, historical fiction that's set in the period of World War II, self-explanatory. Um, low expectation, I'm not sure if that comes up, I'm not sure which book I'm gonna choose but we'll see I guess. Then we've got treat your shelf which means I'll have to treat myself to a new book which is exciting but a little bit cheeky. Um, then we've got translated obviously the book that was translated into English or Russian for that matter and then we've got a standalone. So these are all of our prompts so I'm just going to spin the wheel and then when it lands on the on one of the prompts I'm going to swap it for something else. But like I said, I'm going to start with three and then see where we at. Okay, so spin number one. I don't know how to do any like fancy music or anything so you're just going to have to bear with me and watch it spin. Spin number one. I think that landed bang on in the middle. But I think this time I could actually combine it because I do have a TBR vet that's been on here for a long time. And it is surprisingly World War II fiction. I could actually pick from three different options. I'm gonna show them to you. So yeah, I've got these three different options. So I've got the Tattooist of Auschwitz, which has been on my TBR for a long time now. Then we've got Ghosts of the Nightingale, which is another TBR vet obviously and then we've got Octavia's story here as well. I've had them for a good few years and I'm not sure which one to pick. Right let me think. <laughs> I think I've made a decision. I think I'm gonna go with Ghost of the Nightingale just because it appeals to me a little bit more. I'm gonna read you what it's still about. When visions come to you through 
unrelenting dreams, crying to be written, one eventually complies. Hence, we have the story of a young man who is to take on the challenge of sharing a life unfinished, a life that has been cut short at a death camp designed for mass murder. It offers the possibility that the darkest part of man can be slayed by the strength and victory of a beautiful spirit. It is both a lesson in history and an offer of hope as our world continues to struggle in the fight of good versus evil. It's a nice and short one. It's just over 100 pages, so I'm hoping I'm going to really, really enjoy this one in a way that you can enjoy this kind of book. So this is my pick number one. So now I have to swap those two prompts because it's essentially landed on both of them. So taking both of these, I'm going to put them aside so that I don't um, pick them on the say in the same game. But again, I'm going to give these a shuffle. And let's see, so we've got try a page in that one I will choose a selection of books and then just try a page in which and see which one will take my interest and then let's take this one which is a classics okay let's go with spin number two right it's afraid to read hang on a minute like I said to you earlier, I am allowed to include current reads, especially this one is definitely allowed. So it is Labyrinth of the Spirits by Carlos Ruiz Safon. It's a huge book. I am on page 86. And the reason why I'm afraid to read this, even though I started it because I was in the mood for it, it's because it is massive and also it is the last book that the author had ever written. And I'm just scared to read it in a way that the atmosphere in here sometimes is a little bit oppressive so I wonder how that's going to affect my mood and also again like I said the size but I'm going to put it on the TBR officially so that I definitely have to <laughs> read it in August because I'd like to read it in August and I already started it so it's a perfect opportunity to just do that so there we go pick number two let's swap this prompt for um I'm not going to shuffle it again because I've shuffled them already. So we've got Romance. That's again self explanatory. Let's go with roll uh, spin number three. Classics. Oh dear, that means it landed on it twice as well, which means I've got to do an extra spin. So if I was going to do three, now it's going to be at least four. Classics. Let me see. Right, I've got a few different options, but I think I know what I'm, which I'm gonna go with, but I'm gonna show you the options anyway. So we've got a modern classic, Fringeman's Creek by Daphne G. Maurier. Um, then we also got The Magic Toy Shop by Angela Carter, another modern classic. And then we also have The War of the World by H.G. Wells, which has recently joined my collection. Um, I could also do a reread of Master and Margarita, but I don't feel like I want to reread it quite yet. So to be honest, I think I'm going to get it with a bit of sci-fi book because I feel like those two other books that I've picked so far are quite lyrical. So this one will be just a little bit different from the rest of them. So yeah, I'm going to pick up this classics book and I'm actually really looking forward to it as you're probably aware apparently aliens invade earth in this one so I'm really looking forward to this one and I'm happy that it came up right now I have to swap it again and hopefully for the last time and then we've got this one which is not a pretty cover so this is hopefully the last spin number four TBR box, that's exciting, okay. It's called TBR box because all of my TBR books used to be in a box. Now they're in this jar kind of thing. I'm super scared, but let's go with it. I'm gonna give them a shuffle and, oh my God, this is, so ter this, this is terrifying. It could be anything. I'm just gonna, oh my God, this is so scary. This is so scary. Right, I've got something, got two. Let's pick this one. I'm terrified. And it is The Light of Prague. Oh, yes! This is exciting. 
Yay, there we go. It's The Lights of Prague by Nicole Jarvis. Jarvis, I'm not so sure. This is a historical fantasy book that is set in Prague. Something to do with vampirish creatures and things like that. I'm so excited. I can't believe my TBR box jar picked this book. Oh my god, I couldn't be happier about it. Yay! I am going to take this one off for next time when I do them, but I'm going to put all of those older... Uh, prompts that I've used already in the stack again and then just shuffle it so that next month if I play it again they could be picked again. So this is officially my stack for August for books. I do have a few that I'm in the middle of which hopefully you'll see in my wrap up which I'm not sure whether it's coming out before or after this one but you'll see then which books I'm also currently reading for that. But yeah I'm pretty happy with this one. Nice little stack so I'm pleased about that. So yeah, let me know what you thought of this video, let me know what you thought of the choices that I've had here as well. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, please um, like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, bye!